Right, measuring distances on maps is surprisingly easy and it's very easy to get a good estimate as well. Now then, on Ordnance Survey maps, irrespective of the actual scale of the map, the distances between the grid lines is equal to one kilometre on the ground. So distance from that line to that line would be one kilometre, and the distance from that line to that line would be one kilometre. And the diagonal distance from that point there to that point there is approximately one and a half kilometres. So say for instance you were at that point up there and that's your destination you wanted to get to there. Well you know the distance between that line and that line is one kilometre. That's just a little bit over, that's just a little bit over and if you allow for a few twists and turns and bends which in this route there aren't that many. So a good estimate would be probably one and a quarter kilometres and you're not going to be far off doing it that way. Now then you can get a piece of string, put the one end at where you are and then lay the string on the map to where you want to get to. Then you'll have a length of string from one point to where you want to get to. Now then you can use uh, the scale on the side of your compass. We'll give you the length. Uh, or you can uh, use it, you know, between two grid lines. Just put a string on one end, put it to that end, and just keep going until you come to the end of on the string that you've measured. And then obviously just count how many squares, one kilometre, two kilometres, three kilometres, and, and whatever. You can work off it from that. Um, another thing you could use is a thing called a map measure. Um, simple to use. All you do is a little wheel at the bottom there. Just turn that until the needle is showing zero on the dial. Place it, the wheel, on where you are and then you just follow your route on the map to where you want to get to. And as you do that you will see the needle with the wheel turning on the map. The needle be moving along the scale. Now say it ends there. Now then, just depending on what scale map you're using, you just read the scales on the map measure. Get a bit closer, see 125th, 150th. So this is a 125th map. So the distance I'm going to be travelling is one, two, two and a half miles. And if I was using a 150th map, it would be five miles. Now then, if you want to know the distance in kilometre, just use the other side. You can see there the scale's all in kilometres. Uh, now then, you can get electronic versions, like this silver model. They work just the same. But I much prefer these mechanical map measures because there's nothing to go wrong with them. With these, the battery can go flat on you or fail. But with a mechanical map measure, there's nothing to go wrong with them. So that's it, that's how to measure distances on a map.